Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. Today we're going to take a look at the new AMD 3D vCache processor, the 7900X3D, which you'll see on your right. And on the left, we have the i9-13900K, up until this point, the fastest gaming processor on the market. And in a lot of cases, it's still the fastest, uh, depending on what game you are looking at. Now, um, this I have two computers set up here. Um, this monitor so, uh, accepts two inputs, so um, it's a 1440p monitor. So each, the left and the right, is running 2560 by 1440 or 1440p. We we're using a 4090 graphics card, so we don't have a CPU bottleneck. Excuse me, a GPU bottleneck because uh, we're wanting to look only at CPU performance here. And again, you see our graphics options. I know they're maybe a little bit obscured by the, the overlay, but forgive that if you would. And I'm going to get out of the graphics options here. Now, this new processor with the, as I mentioned, the 3D vCache AMD processor, what they do is they put a lot of cache, or in other words, memory, really fast, fast, fast memory on the chip itself. And memory access on the chip itself is much faster than going out to, let's say, system memory. So uh, games can, in a lot of cases, benefit greatly from this particular layout. Um, so let's take these replays and just start them up at the exact same time and go. So again, on the left, we have the i9. On the right, we have the AMD 3D vCache chip. These run about the same price. The AMD is a, it's probably a little bit more. I9 currently is about 550. The AMD is 600. And I'll put the specs of these systems down in the video description. All right, so there you go.